Looks like the lights are down. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience. Are you ready for some more action? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Harry. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ooh. Middleweight fight here. All Another officials, please, to ringside. All cage tight officials, please, to ringside. Pete Tyler rocking the straw oh, raid no, game, didn't. and he rips the shirt off. Taylor Mania is running wild right now. Joe Lozon has a smile on his face in the corner of Pete Heiler, and Pete Heiler is now without a shirt. Heiler Mania is about to run wild on you, Andy. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? You're not a wrestling fan, are you? So you have no idea what I'm saying. No, I have no idea what kind of reference that Do was. you know who Hulk Hogan is? Hulkamania, Tyler Mania. Wouldn't have oh, put, my God. Did who not am put, I talking to? You're talking to someone who never watched fake stuff in Come his life. Come on. Unbelievable. I, I was more entertained by things like Rocco's Modern Life than fake wrestling. I got into the real stuff early. I just never got a thing. I, I appreciate it. If it's your, if it's your thing, it's your thing. I'm not, Unreal. not saying anything against wrestling fans. It's just not for me. Unreal. Wrestling references are wasted <laughs> on Andy Kurzontowski. It's just not oh. going to happen. But anyways, that was a phenomenal reference. Pete, uh, well done. Sorry, missed me. I hope the folks at home liked it. I really hope they do. They did. I'm sure they did. But yes, Pete Heiler has been waiting for this moment for a long time. He's an absolute monstrous wrestler, rocking a strong head of cornrows, flowing lusciously. Strong wrestler, big power, and a hell of a camp behind him. Ooh. And he looks nice as ready to wheel. go. One-handed cartwheels. Oh, love it. Show off. What an athlete. No, seriously, I'm stoked for this fight. Once I found out that this was the fight that Pete Heiler was it's making a his debut to. It's a plane. No. It's Pat Smallville probably. Oh my god. <laughs> Here he comes. Superman, Smallville, Smalls, whatever you want to call him. There he is. <laughs> Absolutely rocking the Superman cutoff. Would expect nothing less. Eric Grossman, Keith Florian, Matt Alger in his corner. He just has an unfazed look on his face as he walks out to the cage, as he's done twice before. Fought the likes of Fabio Charant, who is an undefeated professional fighter now. Brennan Conrad, a seasoned wrestler. And he's got another tough test in the debuting Pete Heiler. Well, let's see if he can keep the wrestling at bay and find the powerful right hand. Yeah, we know we know Pat has big power. We saw that in that knockout of Brandon Conrad. He put Conrad to sleep, and it was quick. We can see that happen again. Who knows? This is seriously a clash of two extremely talented young men who have been ready to make a splash at 185 for a long time. And as we saw in the Nick Smith versus Diego Nunez fight, uh, Ariel Nunez, I'm sorry, earlier this evening, you know, two middleweight fights back to back, could start building up an exciting division here. Yeah, the big guys have been making a statement tonight. Like we said earlier, we haven't had a middleweight champ in a while. I might lose my voice on this one if this has as much fireworks as I anticipated to have. So. A warm welcome for both of these fighters coming out of two great camps. Lozon versus Florian, make it official, Harry Jones. We appreciate your patience, ladies and gentlemen, so let's make some noise for these two fighters. Let's give it up. <laughs> this next bout, 185-pound amateur matchup set for three rounds, three minutes apiece. Introducing first, in the red corner, making his amateur debut, he represents Luzon M.M.A. Let's hear it for Pete Halo. His opponent 
in the blue corner with an amateur record of one and one. He's representing Florian Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Let's hear it for Pat Crowley. Steve Rita, our referee for this clash of middleweights. Pete Tyler in the red and white trunks. Pat Crowley in the black trunks. They touch gloves in the middle and it's official. Oh, Upper. right away, there's that right hand. We talked about big power. Deep on a single is Hyler, but he's eating uppercuts for his troubles. It's exactly how Conrad got finished. Not with a single leg attempt. Yes, it was. Not this deep. Hyler survives the onslaught early from Crowley. Elevating Crowley yeah. is Hyler. Trying to secure this takedown. He ate a good jab from the get-go. And Ooh. ate a big that uppercut. Right no hand. big uppercut. Again with the uppercuts. Crowley. Oh, this is going to be over. Quick. Oh, Pete Heiler is down, but still shooting. Crowley's got explosive hands. Dynamite. Heiler desperately looking for the takedown. He's got to clear the cobwebs. Crowley trying to find any Crowley. angle to land a punch. Super aggressive, but look at this. Looking for the treetop. Look at the My God, what a takedown defense by Crowley. Hyler and Hyler's to not. Get this to the ground. Oh. Overhand left from the southpaw, just misses. Crowley looks still composed. Big jab again. Crowley just looking for set it up. He's having so much success with that uppercut. Hyler needs to do oh, something. Oh, again, to get the he's not moving his head. Deep on a single again, stuffed. Crowley's got a sprawl. Wow, what persistence from Pete Hyler, even though he's gotten rocked by those uppercuts on so many occasions. There's the two. He desperately needed this. Oh, man. I don't know how he survived that. It looked like his head, his eyes rolled in the back of his head three times with those uppercuts. He was getting cracked. Devastating power in the hands of Pat Crowley, who finds himself on his back after almost finishing Pete Heiler. Wow, I knew this would be fireworks of a fight. Big hammer fist from Pete Heiler. Heiler, look at a tee off. Crowley needs to do something to get back to his feet. Yeah, Crowley can't just hang out here in half guard. Oh, he's looking to get up now. But Hyler still needs to keep this fight here for as oh. long as he possibly can. Hyler's landing big shots now. What a fight! He's hurt, he's hurt, he's out, he's out! Oh, well, no, he grabbed the not. wrist. Maybe not. He grabbed the wrist. Whoa, I thought Crowley was out for a second. As did I. I definitely thought his eyes were back into his head. But he's rolling with the he's punches. He's still working. What a pace set he's by these mount. two. Full mount for Pete Heiler. We talked about his wrestling pedigree. Oh my God. We talked about his dominant grappling. And he showed us his toughness so far. Heiler just beating on him here. Crowley's got to move. He gives up his back. One hook, two hook. Flattened out. Flattened out. Ten seconds, Ten seconds left, left in the round. round. Crowley's got to hold down here. These punches have lost a lot of steam. That's it, the fight's it. over. Yeah, uh, can't argue with that. Cannot argue with that. Too many unanswered shots. Even though a short time left in the round, the referee is not concerned with how many seconds are left in the round. But Pete Heiler shows us what a crazy warrior he is. Those uppercuts were devastating. You could feel the impact all the way at the end of the cage. And you thought, I thought that Pete Heiler was out on his feet on a couple of occasions. He shows his durability. He shows his toughness. He shows his fight IQ. He gets the fight to the mat through any which way he possibly could. And from then on, he cuts the guard of Crowley, gets in a dominant position, and just let loose a barrage of ground and pound until referee Steve Rita was forced to call a stop to the contest. What a sensational fight. I knew this would be fireworks, and it did not disappoint. I, I don't know what to say now. I am fired up. Yeah, Pete Heiler, Pete Heiler was out on his feet. I mean, he got cracked so many times. But I mean, the persistence, looking for that takedown, once he got the mount, I mean, uh, Crowley just had no answer for that mount. He got stuck in that mount, and I thought he was out a couple times, but he kept moving. But I mean, there was only a few seconds left, but at that point, he had already taken so much damage. You gotta stop it. Good Lord, the power that Pat Crowley possesses. I, he lost this one. <laughs> Man, is he fun to watch. And seriously, I, he tried his best to get out of those bad spots on the ground, but 
Too many unanswered strikes. Good stoppage by the referee. Harry Jones make it official. Woo! If you weren't on your feet watching that fight, I don't think we were watching the same one. Let's make some noise for these two. Two minutes, 57 seconds into this battle. Referee Steven Reed had called this matchup, giving you your winner, TKO, by verbal submission. Give it up for Pete Halo! Unbelievable pace set by both men. Unbelievable contest. I, I, I thought Halo was out on his feet. <laughs> Can't reiterate that enough. But man, when you see a guy that just doesn't have an ounce of quitting him come back from a, a barrage of punches like that, that's what makes this sport so great, a fight like that. <sighs> Incredible. Pete Heiler was out on his feet, kept his wits about him, finished the fight. I mean, that's just, oh man, that's, that's exactly what you want to